Are you struggling to decide which attachments to use for your weapons? I see most players stick to popular choices like the compensator and vertical grip, but are they really the best? What about the other attachments? Are they completely useless? Let's find out. In today's video, I'll break down every attachment in PUBG Mobile, explain what they do, and show you how to use them like a pro. Let's get started. For example, let's take the M416, one of the most popular weapons in PUBG Mobile. It's a versatile gun with multiple attachment slots, making it the perfect choice to showcase how different attachments work. Let's start with the muzzle. There are several options available for the muzzle like suppressor, flash hider, and compensator. Let's break down each one and understand how to use them effectively. The suppressor silences your shots and hides muzzle flashes, making it harder for enemies to locate you. However, it doesn't help with recoil control. The suppressor is great for sneaky players who prefer staying undetected. Equip a suppressor on your sniper or DMR. When you're holding high ground, or trying to third-party enemies without giving away your position. Flash Hider generally reduces the flash when you shoot, making it harder for enemies to spot you. Additionally, it provides a slight reduction in both vertical and horizontal recoil, making your shots a bit more stable. Flash Hider is not as strong as a compensator. However, if you can't find a compensator, a Flash Hider is the next best muzzle attachment for controlling recoil. Let's talk about the compensator. It is one of the most popular attachments in this game. The compensator is the go-to choice for players who love spraying in mid to long range fights. The compensator significantly reduces both vertical and horizontal recoil, making it easier to land consecutive shots on your target. If your playstyle involves rapid sprays or engaging multiple enemies at once, the compensator is your best friend. Here is a table that I've created to help you understand the key features, best uses, and drawbacks of each muzzle attachment in PUBG Mobile. Additionally, there are two more muzzle attachments in this game, which are the muzzle brake and barrel extender. The reason I'm explaining these attachments separately is because they aren't commonly available in regular matches. For example, the muzzle brake can only be found in the market, which is exclusive to classic modes. It's not available in custom room matches or esports tournaments, since those modes don't include markets. And the barrel extender, which is not available in classic matches. However, you can use it in TDM matches. The muzzle brake doesn't just reduce recoil in one direction, it controls both vertical and horizontal recoil effectively. This means your weapon will be more stable and easier to manage during sustained sprays. Another unique advantage of the muzzle brake is how it improves your crosshair control. This makes it incredibly useful for hipfire scenarios, where precise aim and stability are critical. Muzzle brake helps you land more accurate shots when firing without ADS. So overall, it is better than compensator. The barrel extender increases the effective range of your weapon by improving bullet velocity and reducing damage drop-off over long distances. In simple terms, it allows your bullets to hit harder and travel farther with less reduction in damage. When it comes to scopes, it's all about the range. For close combat, you'll want something like the red dot or hollow sight for quick aiming. For mid-range, a 3x or 4x scope gives you the perfect balance of zoom and precision. For long-range combat, you'll need a 6x scope to hit targets at a distance. It's important to match your scope with the weapon and the situation to get the best performance. I will recommend you to carry a 6x scope and red dot, so you can use red dot for close range and reduced 6x which will be 3x scope in mid-range, and for long range, you can use full 6x scope. Let's move on to grips. Basically, there are 6 main grips in PUBG Mobile, which are vertical foregrip, angled foregrip, half grip, thumb grip, light grip, and laser sight. Each of these grips has its own unique purpose. Let's go through them one by one. Let's talk about vertical foregrip. If you're having trouble controlling vertical recoil, this grip is your best friend. It helps prevent your shots from climbing too much during sustained fire. It's perfect for mid to long range sprays. By reducing vertical recoil, it makes it easier to stay on target and land those consistent shots in mid range combat. But remember, it won't help with horizontal recoil. So if you're struggling with horizontal recoil, you'll need a different grip. The angled foregrip is designed to improve horizontal recoil management. The angled foregrip helps keep your shots on track 
and prevents the crosshair from swaying too much horizontally. Not only does it reduce that left-to-right drift that can throw your aim off, but it also boosts your aiming speed. This is perfect for players who like to play aggressively and need to snap their aim quickly at targets. If you're someone who likes to be quick with your shots and needs help controlling both horizontal recoil and aiming speed, this grip is a great option for you. Let's talk about the laser sight. This is your go-to attachment if you want to improve your hip-fire accuracy. Now, we all know that in close-range combat, scoping in isn't always an option, right? With the laser sight, your crosshair stays more stable while you're spraying, making it much easier to land those shots. Whether you're using SMGs or assault rifles, this is perfect for hip-firing, especially when an enemy is right in your face. Next, we've got the half-grip. This one is great for players who need a balance between recoil management and recoil recovery. It's fantastic if you want to reduce both vertical and horizontal recoil, making it much easier to control your shots while spraying. One of the key benefits of the half grip is its ability to help you recover from recoil faster, which can be crucial in keeping your shots on target during sustained fire. Next up, we have the thumb grip. This grip is all about helping you aim faster and control vertical recoil a little better. The biggest advantage of the thumb grip is how much faster you can aim. If you're in a close range fight or need to quickly switch between targets, this grip helps you bring up your sights much quicker. It's great when you need to react fast. Along with that, the thumb grip also gives a little help with vertical recoil, meaning your shots stay more controlled when you're firing quickly. It's not a huge difference, but it's noticeable on weapons with moderate recoil, like the M416 or SCARL. Let's talk about the light grip. This grip is designed to help you stay on target and control your weapon, especially during mid-range and long-range gunfights. The light grip is excellent for reducing horizontal recoil and improving muzzle climb recovery speed, making it perfect for situations where you need to maintain steady shots while aiming quickly. Muzzle climb recovery speed refers to how quickly your weapon resets to its original position after firing. Essentially, a faster recovery speed means that after each shot, your weapon will return to the position where you aimed faster, allowing you to get back on target without wasting time adjusting your aim. In my recommendation, use this grip for tap-tap fire. I mean, wherever you need to fire some single shots. Additionally, there is another grip that is also available in the market like the muzzle brake. Let's understand about this grip. The ergonomic grip focuses on improving the overall stability of your weapon, especially when firing rapidly or at longer ranges. Its main feature is reducing weapon sway and helping your weapon stay more stable when aiming and shooting. When you're in a firefight, especially at medium to long range, your weapon can sway slightly, making it harder to aim accurately. The ergonomic grip helps counteract this movement, keeping the weapon steadier in your hands. This stability makes it easier to hold your aim on the target, improving accuracy. Here is a table that will help you understand about every grip at once. Now let's talk about magazines. Basically, there are two best choices in the mag, which are extended quick drawer mag and mini drum mag. I will recommend you to use extended quick drawer mag in close to mid-range fights where you need to quickly reload and mini drum mag for long range sprays where you need to fire continuously or to spray on moving vehicles. All right, now let's talk about the last attachment slot, which isn't available on most weapons. The stock attachment slot. In this slot, there's only one option available, the tactical stock. If you are using M4, you must use this attachment because this helps in recoil recovery and weapon sway management. It provides more stability to your weapon, reducing weapon sway during firing. Finally, we have covered everything you need to know about attachments. But remember, you also need to master your sensitivity settings. Click on this video and I will teach you how to make your own sensitivity for any weapon or any scope.